Greetings, welcome to my channel, A Place to Dock. I am Julia and I'm going to do something different that I have not done before. I'm going to read a card for the sun going into Aquarius. So it might be for anybody who has any kind of connection to Aquarius, friends, relatives, or just thinking about plans for the future and technology, any kind of connection that goes with Aquarius because Aquarius is so futuristic thinking and I think humanitarian as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to explain. I'm going to pull a card from this deck. This is called Divine Circus. But I gotta tell you, this booklet has so much more information in it that I don't wanna miss it. So first I'm gonna pull the card and I'm going to read. I'll read the description from the book that we can all learn from because it is actually very deep. So I'm gonna pull a card. I'm going to just show you the backs of the cards. They're really pretty. It's like a circus. Okay, and I'll just show you random. See, there's cards like they're just different, different types of cards like this. They're very pretty. Okay, so I'll shuffle these cards and we'll see what message we need to know for Aquarius and for all of our, um, just our all of our lives together for the sun in Aquarius time period. I know it starts on January 19th and goes till when Pisces starts, <laughs> whenever that is exactly, I don't know. But so for Aquarius time frame, when the sun is in Aquarius, what do we need to know as a group and individually? And let's see what card we can get here. And this is, this deck is by Alana Fairchild as well. All right, where, nothing is like, okay, there we go. Okay, so the card that we have, it's called Tiger Angel. I'll show you. It's very pretty. Okay. Tiger Angel, and there's the number there. It's number four. So maybe four has a specific message for you. Let's see here. Number four in the book. Okay. So we will see what we need to learn. Okay, so patience with me as I read, but it'll be very good. So this is the Tiger Angel. The universe needs you. It needs your strength, your guiding hand, your devotion, your goodness, and your protection. There are people, projects, ideas, and hopes that need your encouragement, your optimism, your nurturing. You have helpful, you have helpful healing power in you. Be confident enough to be gentle and your inner power shall uplift and protect many in this world, keeping them safe and inspiring them to travel in love. Actually, it said to trust in love. Interesting. Okay. We all have moments where we wonder if we are doing such a great job at this game of life. The idea of helping others might appeal, and yet when we have our moments of struggle in our own lives, we may question whether or not we are a good candidate to protect, guide, and nurture others. When the desire to create a positive contribution to the world exists in your heart, you must remember that such desire was placed there on purpose for your life purpose. The universe knows what you are capable of and believes in you. Even though you don't always realize it, you have the light of an angel and the fierceness of a tiger within you. You are capable of so much more than you realize. One of your spiritual gifts is the art of invisible influence. This empowers you to guide others without breaking the spirit of those you lead. You don't need to tell others what to do or how to be. You can simply hold a vision of them in your heart. A vision that sees them being and becoming all they can be. Your influence becomes powerful in the lives of others based on how you choose to live. Even if you don't say a word, your presence assists. Maybe your invisible influence extends to your family, your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, or your clients. It might even be the world at large you are helping, simply through how you choose to think and be in your life. There is a truth in your heart, the truth that knows every being is loved and deserves to feel safe and live their life in freedom and truth. 
Your adherence to this truth can tame even the most fearful and resistant thoughts within you and people around you. Remembering the ability to have calm, have, to calm the heart and empower the soul creates a feeling of security within you. Your invisible influence also helps all beings to remember that there is no need for fear and that together we can create a world where all creatures are happy and free. And now the book goes on to give a healing trick. That's what it says, a healing trick. To help you take the wisdom offered and put it to best use in your life now, do this healing trick to clear obstacles to putting this guidance into place. Get down on all fours if you can and be a tiger. If you want to stretch like a big cat and growl a little, maybe swipe your paws with claws outstretched, feel free. Say aloud three times. There's a tiger of light burning bright within me. There's a tiger of light burning bright within me. There's a tiger of light burning bright within me. Do a few more of your tiger moves and then when you are ready, change your, pos your posture so you are sitting or standing with your hands in prayer position at your heart. Bow your head gently towards the hands and raise your hands to gently towards your forehead so the tips of your fingers lightly touch your head. Say aloud three times. Within me is an angel of power and peace. Within me is an angel of power and peace. Within me is an angel of power and peace. If you're not already standing, stand up now, feet firm on the ground, say this aloud. I am a tiger angel, wild and divine. I protect and, I'm, and am protected. I love and am loved. I guide and am guided through unconditional love now and always. I'm gonna read that again. And I'm going to pause so then you can repeat after me that that section okay I am a tiger angel wild and divine I protect and am protected I love and am loved I guide and am guided through unconditional love now and always And then it says, you may like to repeat this three times. So if you do, you can rewind it and do it three times. Now outstretch your arms and imagine you are holding the world in your loving embrace. Don't hold it too tight. You can hold it lightly and steadily. It feels good to love the world. Then very gently visualize, imagine, feel or pretend that the world is moving into your heart. Give yourself a hug imagining that you that as you love yourself you are loving the world as you hug yourself you can feel visualize pretend or imagine that the world is returning your affection and hugging you you have completed your healing trick and here is the affirmation say the following affirmation out aloud to boost the energy of this message and to integrate it into your body mind and soul you can say it in the morning and or in the evening for a few days or even for a few months or just at the end of your healing trick. Here is your affirmation. Tiger angel burning bright. Tiger angel burning bright. I am power, love and healing light. And this card is the artwork is made by Nell Falliard. F-A-L-L-E-A-R-D. So there you go. That is your healing trick from the Divine Circus. We are being guided to be the tiger angel for the world. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. God bless and have a great day.